Hi guys and welcome back. Today I'm showing you how to do this glam copper makeup look. Don't forget to subscribe and if you want to find out how to get this look then just keep watching. Using the Pixi Flawless and Poreless Primer, I'm just going to prep my skin ready for foundation application. This is one of my favorite primers. And for foundation, the Lorac Perfection Foundation in the shade PR1. I bought this in LA recently and I've been using it over the past week and loving it so far. My only negative so far is that I feel like it sinks into my skin and I find that that makes it difficult to apply cream contour products because my skin feels slightly drier than one of the other foundations I'd usually use. Let's move on to the brows. Today I'm using the Anastasia Brow Definer. This is in the shade medium brown. So I'm just gently filling in those brows and then I'm going to carve them out using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I am still in the process of growing out my brows so bear with me while they look a little bit funky until I get them reshaped. Using the MAC Paint Pot in the shade Soft Ochre, I'm just going to prep my lids and prime them ready for eyeshadow application. Today I'm using a Morphe palette. This is the Morphe 350 palette and I'm taking this light yellow beige shade. I'm just applying this all over the lid before moving into this hot orange shade to act as our transition color. I've picked that up on a fluffy brush and I'm just blending and buffing that out in the crease before moving on to this darker red orange shade. Using a small Morphe brush, I'm just going to apply that into the crease and then taking a soft fluffy brush, I'm just going to very gently blend this shadow out. Take your time and remember it's better to over blend than under blend. Yeah. Next I'm going to take this creamy white shade and just pop a small amount under the brow and then just blend that out. For the lid colour I'm taking the Morphe 12S palette and taking this gorgeous coppery shade. This has a really nice gold reflect kind of in the shimmer shade. So to highlight that I'm also going to pick up this gold shade here and just pop that straight into the centre of the lid. Gently blend that into that copper shadow. Next I'm going to take this slightly richer copper shade. This one is slightly darker and I'm just going to pop that onto the inner and outer corner. This makes the gold in the center then pop even more. For eyeliner today I'm using the Zoeva Graphic Eyes Black to Earth Eyeliner and I'm just gently lining my upper waterline and slightly above my lash line before moving on to the Wet n Wild Mega Plump Mascara. I actually really like the brush on this, I'm just not so keen on the formula. For lashes today, I'm wearing the Lily Lashes Galici Glam Miami Lashes. These are so incredibly fluffy. I really wish I could show you all these lashes in person because they are phenomenal. To contour today, I'm using the Anastasia Cream Contour Kit in the shade Fear. Starting with the shade Fawn, I'm just going to apply that into the hollows of my cheeks, my forehead, and also below my chin. Using the shade Mink, I'm just going to amp up that contour slightly because, you know, I kind of want to look hella contour today. And then using the shade Fear, I'm just going to use this as a cream highlight. I've never used this kit before, so hopefully it's good because I love Anastasia products. I'm also going to contour my nose and then using a damp makeup sponge I'm just going to blend out that contour and highlight. Now my sponge wasn't as damp as I usually like today and that did actually make it more difficult to blend out my contour especially with the foundation being slightly drier. So always use a super damp sponge because it makes your life easier. For concealer today I'm wearing the Urban Decay Naked Skin. This is in the shade Fair Neutral and I'm applying this under my eyes, on my chin, my cupid's bow either side of my nose and also my forehead. I'm again blending this out using that Real Techniques makeup sponge. So again this is a new product that I bought in LA. I've heard so many good things about it but I'd never tried it and oh my word I can't believe I'd never tried this before because I freaking love this concealer. I haven't actually found a new concealer that I love as much as this one recently and yeah prepare to see this in a lot of videos because this looks looks so beautiful on the skin. For powder today, I'm wearing the Givenchy Powder Premier and I'm just going to use that to set my under eye area and the other areas where we applied that concealer. If you're looking for a drugstore or cheaper alternative, you could try the Ben Nye Neutral Set Powder. 
to set my contour, I'm using the Kat Von D shade and light palette and I'm just going to apply the lightest contour shade onto the hollows of my cheeks and my forehead. I'm not gonna lie, I just kind of wanted to use this one today. Totally unnecessary, but loving this palette. Make sure you blend that out. Should probably tell you that as well. I'm also gonna sweep that excess powder off the under eye area before finalizing that eyeshadow. So I'm going back to this orange red shade and I'm going to run that along the lower lash line using a small pencil brush. Then I'm also going to take that deep copper shade from the 12S palette and just use that to add a touch of that shimmer onto the lower lash area. I'm just gonna blend those two shadows together, apply some of the NYX Wonder Pencil in my lower lash line. Gotta be honest, kind of not feeling this pencil because it's not as pigmented as I would like. Then I'm going to finish it using the Mega Plump Mascara to add a touch of mascara to the bottom lashes. For blush today, I have the Elizabeth Arden Blushing Pink Beautiful Color Radiance Blush. So many names, but such a pretty blush. I'm applying this to the apples of my cheeks, followed by the Anastasia Gleam Glow Kit. I'm using the shade Crushed Pearl because I struggle to go a day without using this highlighter. It is so freaking beautiful. I'm applying that to the tops of my cheeks, the tip of my nose, my cupid's bow, slightly under the brows, and in my tear duct area. To line my lips I'm going for the NYX 810 natural lip liner and I'm just going to line my lips using that because that would make sense wouldn't it so I'm lining those and then I'm just going to do some ridges in my lips to act as a plumper sort of lip before moving on to the NYX lip lingerie I would definitely say that these are comparable to the Anastasia liquid lipsticks they're just as good and just as long lasting this is in the shade 03 and to just to add some depth to those lips, I'm taking the NYX Mahogany 809 pencil and I'm just going to use this in the inner section of the cupid's bow and also add some of those weird Instagram glitches again to give the impression that my lips are plumper than they actually are. Let's face it, it doesn't actually work, so I'm gonna blend it out. And take the YSL Tint in Oil. This is in the super catchy name 62L801 and I'm gonna apply this to act as a really pretty gloss. I really like these. I know they're high end, but they do look beautiful on the lips. And here's the finished look, my glam copper makeup tutorial. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Today I'm talking you through my £20 makeup tutorial. That means that all of the makeup that I am wearing collectively came to less than £20. And this is what I ended up with.